Ken Armstrong. I'm the president and CEO of North Arrow Minerals. Uh, we're a TSX venture listed company, uh, trade under the symbol NAR on the, on the venture exchange. Well, North Arrow is a diamond exploration company. We have seven projects uh, in the company right now that we've been evaluating and, and really spent 2013 putting those projects together. Um, the concept was a year ago at the show, we announced that we were going to turn North Arrow into a, a diamond exploration company. We identified a number of projects that had seen significant past exploration uh, and, and looked to, to pull them together under one umbrella with a, a management group that has uh, significant positive uh, and successful experience in the diamond space in North America. America and in Africa and marry that with solid financial backing and we were very successful through 2013 in doing that. Um, on the exploration side our primary success was our discovery of the, uh, the new diamondiferous kimberlites in the Piku project in Saskatchewan. Uh, yes, they have. Uh, we've uh, as I mentioned we just reorganized the company at this time last year, and since then we've closed three different financings. Uh, each uh, total of uh, over three, 13 million dollars has been raised. Each financing at a successfully higher price, and uh, insiders have participated in uh, in each of those financings, maintaining their position. And that's all part of what we've been trying to do with the company in uh, in having that solid financial backing, so that we can we can move our projects forward uh, appropriately and smartly, and and with uh, with sort of intelligence and proper exploration. Well, we'll have a number of catalysts in 2014. We'll follow up on our diamond discovery in Saskatchewan at the Piku project. Uh, at our redemption uh, property in the Northwest Territories, we're going to be launching into some ground geophysics and, and ultimately some drilling, testing what we think is, is the last uh, unsourced, well-defined indicator mineral train in the Lac de Gras region in, in uh, the Northwest Territory. So really an area that has some of the, the richest diamond deposits in the world. But our main project is the, the Kilugak project in, uh, in Nunavut. And that's, uh, it is more advanced. Uh, we have uh, uh, a resource estimate there of uh, just over 48 million tons that grade uh, uh, a little over a half carat per ton. And that deposit is, is importantly, it's, it's located very close to the coast. We're only nine kilometers from the community of Repulse Bay. Um, Canada has a real uh, a, a history of successful uh, diamond, or uh, successful mining operations in, in the Canadian Arctic for deposits that are located on tidewater. And uh, the, Kilugak, the Kilugak project and the Q1 to 4 Kimberlite in particular meets that. Um, so it's, we've got a large tonnage kimberlite at a good grade, but what we don't know is the diamond value. And so this year we'll be going up in July, collecting a bulk sample, 1,500 tons, to get uh, that sample shipped south, processed, and ideally coming up with a parcel of diamonds of about 500 carats uh, in order to get an indication of what the value of the diamonds will be. And that'll be the really the most important uh, project for us this year because it could, be, it could be transformative for the company. A positive valuation could really see this project immediately become a development track project. Well, it's been a good, uh, a good show for us, uh, partly because of where the company's at. It's nice to be able to come back and say, a year ago, we had just started this plan, we had this business plan, and we've been able to execute it over, over the last 12 months to get ourselves to this point now where we have $10 million of, of cash in the bank, uh, a, a really good stable of diamond properties that, uh, that we can evaluate, and there's, I think, a real audience to, to hear that sort of story right now. And ideally, we'll be back 12 months ago with a, a good diamond valuation on our uh, Q1 to 4 Kimberlite, and, and uh, it'll be exciting for us then, too.